Hello, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how you can use Zotero groups to share resources. By now you've collected, each of you have collected at least five really good research articles or books or other types of scholarly writing that really support the use of technology in the classroom. Remember, one of the main purposes of this assignment is to enable you to be able to respond to those skeptics who wonder, well, why should we have technology in the schools? Our students really don't need computers to write, do they? I mean, can't they write just as well with pencil and paper and, and look up things in the World Book Encyclopedia? So anyhow, you, you need to be able to have on the tip of your tongue some really good research that will back up your claims that, hey, I need these tools in my classroom. I need this training. I need our students to have these tools to use to learn. So that's the main purpose of this assignment. But you've all collected some really great resources. So how can we share those resources? Well, I can create, anyone can create a group in Zotero and that's what I've done. So I will have created a group for our class and all you need to do is go to our group link. It's a public group and I'll be posting that in the news forum and join the group. You'll need to sign into Zotero, obviously, and then you simply join the group. Then you're going to add your resources to our group library folder. Let me show you how to do that. I have Zotero. No, I need to open Zotero. Let me open up Zotero here, and I'm using the standalone version. So I'm going to look for my groups that I've created, and it's under here, Group Libraries. And so here's our library for summer. Depending upon the course, it'll, your, your library might be a different name, but just this, this video will work for anything. So this is the folder or the library that you'll, you're going to want to share your resources with. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a resource really quickly. And I wanna show you something so you'll understand how you can use Albertson's library in conjunction with Google Scholar. I was doing a search for digital inequality and I came upon this article which really looks very interesting. Well, obviously I'm not going to buy the article. I'm going to log into the Albertsons Library and find the article. They probably have access, free access to this quarterly and I'll be able to read the article. So what I did was I just selected this text, the title, and copied it. <clears throat> and then I just pasted it and did a search and I found it right away in the Albertsons Library. Here I can just click the full text and look at that. So I'll go ahead and add this to my Zotero library. I'll go ahead and open my Zotero library. Now you can see, look at this, it did the all caps, which is not a good thing. If you right click this, you can transform the text to sentence case. And it's very, very simple. So you have that, but remember, Zotero doesn't do everything correctly. I have to make a uppercase letter after the colon and make sure there are no proper nouns in there. Okay, that looks good. Everything looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and share this now with our group library. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this down until you see the little plus sign that's hanging over that. And let's just go ahead and if I click this library, there it is, there's my resource. If you go to our groups, you'll be able to see it as well. It might take a few minutes for it to show up. Nope, there it is. Sometimes you may have to refresh your browser. So you have that and you have who added it. This is a really great way to share scholarly articles, books, movies, any kind of an online resource that you can reference and use in a paper or any other type of scholarly writing. I hope this really quick video on Zotero groups helps you understand how to join our group and how to add your five items to our Zotero library to share with the entire class. Thanks for watching.